Okay, so now we're ready to publish our protected area. As you saw in the last video, we made sure that everything was set up. We were connected to the right database. We had created our database online. And now it's time for us to publish all of these pages to the web server. So here's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to the publish. And again, here's my location. I'm putting mine in a folder called members, which is currently empty, except for it now has a little database file in there that's empty. And I'm going to publish the entire website and all of its files by simply going publish. And of course, 90 Second Website Builder does that. It publishes all happens to be 11 files that it's publishing, tells me that they're all being published and uploaded, and then it's done. And we're ready to go. So let's go look at it. I'm going to go to my browser and just go there. So I'm at greggqsonline.com forward slash members. Remember, that's where I put it in that folder. And I had some very simple kind of ugly blank index page. Remember my index page that I said you'll want to design? This is why, because mine's just kind of an ugly one. But it gives me a link to the login page. This is going to link us to login.php, where people could log in if they had an account. Remember, I don't have an account, though because uh, nobody has an account. This is a brand new empty membership area. So uh, let's go look at that administrator page. Remember, only we know where that is. Here's my user administration page. So actually this is only you would have access to this. And remember we had created an administrator password. I'm gonna log into it. And there we go. So as you can see, I got no users because nobody has come to my site and registered. But here I could create a, an account if I wanted to. I could create a new user by going here and giving him a name. If we called him John Smith, and we gave him a password, and put in his full name here, something like that. And then we would type in his email. I could decide whether he's active or not active. Let me see, let me put one in here, I'll just put this email here for now and let's make him active I hit save and now I've got a user the username of John Smith and this person could actually go to the login page and log in or I could delete him from here so that's working great now let's go test out the sign up page and re remember that's a protected page we have to know where it is I happen to know where it is it's at signup.php Here's where a person would create their own account. They would type in their full name. You create a username, create a password. Remember, they have to confirm it. If they mistype it, it will tell them. And then they would provide an email address here and create their account. And once they create their account, they're taken to the login page where they could log in. I'm going to do and it got me right into the protected page and look at it says welcome Greg Hughes because that was my full name so you can see it's working great I mean this is the the template you want to use so that you don't have to start from scratch just download this template and make sure that you've created that database and uploaded it and you will be able to create protected areas or membership areas with 90 second website builder so the real trick to this again is uh, pay attention to these these uh, getting started instructions. Make sure that you've created your published location in the right spot. If anybody's going to get hung up on this, that's probably what's going to hang them up, is making sure you're publishing to the right location. I would say 99% of the issues people have with this kind of stuff is just because they, they didn't understand where they were storing their files. So if you have any questions, of course, contact me through my support uh, page and uh, support desk, and I can help you with that. But that's really important part of it. Once you get that down, it makes all kinds of sense. And it's really easy for you to now create this protected area for your protected content. Use my template to get started. It's much faster than starting from scratch. And that way you can get these pages and dress them up to look pretty and to look like the website that you want them to look like. Okay, I hope that helps you create a protected area. And I hope you have a lot of fun doing it. Thanks.